Uh, it's Saturday morning here in Bangalore. I rode a bit of the way. Uh, my batteries are low, so I can only take uh, pictures in the camera. And uh, I rode to some reservoir, which is over there in park. And uh, I've seen, I think I saw a real cyclist. I think that's because tomorrow there's a, a bike race here in India that has uh, a good amount of prize money. Uh, I'm gonna try and get in it, but riding a folding bike may be kind of hard. Um, also, I think it may be only for Indian nationals. Um, so anyway, uh, watch the tour. You see the bikes everywhere. It's amazing and how many bikes are here. And I'm so glad I brought it. I mean, I'm really, I, I'm really so thrilled uh, by this uh, trip. Um, you know, it's really work. I got to do a lot of riding here. Arguably most of it in the city. And uh, this is really interesting. You know, um, it was kind of slummy in some areas, but this is the culture here. And, and uh, it's just really interesting. You see these guys in carts everywhere. I think you probably saw from other videos. Um, they have wheels, so I view them as a bicycle. I almost got uh, into a wreck there. But uh, I do suggest, you know, if you do come out, you know, bring, you know, bring your bike out. You know, maybe not your best bike. Certainly a folding bike, uh, one that's pretty good performance is probably more inadequate. Or if you have a cross bike, it's probably more suggested because areas can be bumpy and dirt, but you could definitely handle it on a, ro a regular road bike. I only have slicks of mine. It's like some sort of stadium there. And I really have no clue where I'm at today. I decided to ride in the city and you see guys everywhere. All these little parks to work out. The little... Oops, shit. Sorry about that. See the temple and came across. It's really cool, the whole thing. The secret cows all over the city are just walking, eating whatever they can find. Garbage. Food people give it. Pretty interesting stuff. So I'm recording some more video here, uh, just a little bit further away. Supply depot. This whole city has a great deal of military, and they provide services for the people in some some of the areas. That might be a supply depot to bring grains to the poor. I, I think yesterday you saw a video of me uh, recording water trucks and distributing the water to the people. I do it twice a day. Some is done privately. There's a fee. Some done by the military. This is the Army Public School here. Again, bring your bike if you come. So, so definitely suggest it. This guy in front of me riding around. All the bikes need to be single speed. I at least have eight. And these guys, these guys really motor. I'd like to see what they do in a real bike. Um, I'm back at MG Road over here, and you saw, I'll put some photos up. This is where I went to the night for dinner, the Rickshaw Chaos video. If you haven't seen it, definitely see it. And uh, I don't know if I'm taking a light or going with it, but that train's gonna get through the whole city. It's supposed to be done in two years. And it should be really cool because there are 10 million people here that could probably use better transport than using motorcycles. This is uh, where everyone goes shopping apparently. This is MG Road, Mahatma Gandhi Road. You can see there are a bunch of stores. I think I ate down that block the other day. Um, oh, and there's a cafe, but it's closed still. I am in desperate need of a cappuccino. Chai just doesn't cut, even though it's really good. But you can see all the American stores or European stores here, McDonald's which apparently uh, does relatively well here, like everywhere else in the world. And it's uh, pretty cool. This is called Brigade Road, right off MG Road, Mahatma Gandhi Road, it's up ahead. Uh, well, that may be a museum road, actually. Okie dokie. So I turned down this cool street. I have no clue what road I was just on, but it, I'm near like the big part of the city, which is uh, like Museum Road, MG Road, and uh, this came out as cool street. And uh, I'm gonna ride down it. So you're gonna ride down with me, okay? All right, here it comes. And here we go. And it's, there's so many like really cool areas you just could ride into. 
and just get lost. <laughs> you know, but you never really lost. You're just kind of riding through these narrow streets, you know? It's like, it's just really very interesting, you know? Just a few minutes ago, I, ran, I, I just rode my bike by like four major software developers. And here's another temple. So this whole city has temples. I'm not too sure which one this which god this praises, but there are all the gods up there. And you have to respect the uh, the temples and the gods they worship. There you stands everywhere. I had some stuff from there earlier. Hairdressing salon. I could use some hairdressing, I'm sure. And all these buildings have uh, they get built. They get used to, uses wood scaffolding. I'm thinking I might have mentioned it earlier, but it's so bizarre, you know. And the dogs, well, never mind them. They're everywhere, you know. It's a marketing company. Um, anybody in New York needs some marketing, that might be a pretty reasonable place to do it. It's a dental clinic, which I'm definitely going to come back here and probably get my teeth done. Not there, probably, but uh, I hear it's pretty amazing. But it's, it's really cute, the little streets and the, the homes that are here, you know. And it's pretty safe. I mean, I haven't felt threatened yet. You know, but there's you know, certainly poverty here. And down this turn, some of the guys walking. Another temple, like literally a block later. <laughs> it's amazing, amazing. Day. The temples make money for the state too. Um, they help donate food, and so I guess I kind of understand why there's so many of them here. Hey, hey, kids actually go to school here on Saturday. Uh, Pretty amazing. I know they're talking about doing this in the United States, six day school week, but uh, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Anyway, maybe it's not a school, but it, it just looks like a bunch of kids in uniform kind of walking to class with backpacks. This kid over here, Dad's just dogging him off. So, yeah, it must be school. It must be school. Unbelievable. And yes, even in Bangalore. There is a Hard Rock Cafe. I can't believe it. In Bangalore, India, Hard Rock Cafe. Well, they're here to save the planet, so it says their logo. It's counter rickshaws, man. Got yellow cabs work for elephant. There's just thousands of them here. Keep going. The amazing thing about this city is that Nobody has any clue what the na street names are, except for the major ones. And that's really what you have to do when you're here. You have to figure out where the major roads are and just kind of like use that as a kind of triangulation to get back <laughs> to where you need to get. Otherwise, you'd be going around in circles. Um, maps are virtually useless here. Um, and I, I know this is definitely uh, MG Road again because that's where the train is. And check that ride out. So I stopped at a Cafe Day, uh, which is like a cafe chain. As you can see, they're like the Starbucks of uh, this area. Uh, very successful, really uh, neat, very European. Uh, quicker seating, as you can tell. Um, and let me uh, fold my bike up. It's out there. And. Uh, I'm gonna have a cappuccino because I desperately need one. I had a chai earlier up the street for a rupee, uh, but they give you like maybe an ounce uh, in a plastic cup that melts. It's pretty funny, but uh, it was still it was still good. Um, so I'm gonna have my cappuccino. We'll continue our voyage. I just had my coffee, and uh, wow, that feel a lot better. It was actually a pretty good cappuccino. Uh, I think I'll insert a picture when I do my next edit, so you can see it's really nice. I mean, uh, first, you know, the first time I had a good cappuccino here. Um, and uh, tomorrow's Diwali. It's a, it's a festival of light, so it should be kind of interesting uh, to see what festivities the city has. Um, anyway, I'm, uh, my boss just called me up. He, he's out riding, uh, running around. He wanted me to go meet with him, so I think he wants to go ride. He's jealous that he doesn't have a bike to ride me. On for long distances, but we'll have to get him one. But uh, I assure you, I'm definitely coming back to uh, this place probably sooner than later. It's uh, pretty fascinating stuff. Okay, 
Check it out for now. It's pretty cool stuff. People love the folding bike here. I think it's the best thing since sliced cheese. Oh, ah, I, I'm pretty close to uh, the apartment. So I'm right by Airport Road, so I think I'm gonna probably make the ride here to uh, get there. Circle back to where I, near where I work, and I decided to go on another little adventure. It's amazing. Uh, you really can't get too lost in the city. You know, even when you try to get lost, you always find your bearings. Even though streets have no names, you kind of start to recognize some of the main boulevards, the main avenues. Uh, this is an interesting street that goes behind the Aerospace University, which is right here. I, I somehow thought that was closer to downtown or MG Row where I was earlier today. Um, so I'm, I'm going on a little venture here to see uh, where it takes me. Actually, it's the Aerospace Division of HAL. Uh, which I think is a European company. 